the drift. Two pilots melding memories with the body of the machine. Going into Mako's flashback um, was really a fun opportunity because it's the only time we ever spend any real time and really see clearly um, one of these, these memories. Um, one of the things I loved about that that scene, though, is uh, is it's all told completely subjectively from uh, from Mako's point of view. So she felt like the monster was looking at her and coming after her, which may not have been really what happened, but that's how she remembers it. You know, working from this this idea of the memory being subjective, um, you know, how does that manifest itself? And you know, one of the first questions is, well, how big is this monster? And so we kind of cheated the monster to be a little larger than the you know, nominal 250 feet that we're doing elsewhere in the, the film. You know, can't quite fit into the roadway that, that we're on and the monster's kind of shouldering through big buildings. Uh, another important aspect of the design of the sequence is just visibility. The ash wasn't originally as dense as it was. It was kind of like a thin uh, snow falling and we, we ended up making that somewhat denser and you know we want to wanted to make for a dramatic reveal of the creature and she hides in the alley and uh, and she puts her hands over her ears and then the you know the sound goes uh, goes muffled and uh, and you just catch these glimpses uh, down the, the alleyway where you it's a massive battle going on but you don't really see it happening you just see the feet going back and forth and cars flying and and all of this is happening off camera. And seeing the finished product on something that you've worked on so intimately, it's, uh, it's an odd experience. Uh, on one hand, it's really uh, wonderful and exciting to see it with final sound mix and music and color timed and everything together. That's great because it, it just sort of elevates everything a bit. On the other hand, I, I've seen every shot a thousand times. We've, I've had long discussions about the things that, that and are, are working and aren't working and, and uh, what the compromises were that uh, I made to make that work and, and take me a little while to, to kind of develop some emotional distance from. Uh, I found that it usually takes about uh, four or five years, but five years later I can look at something and be a lot more objective ab about it that, uh, you know, and just not, not have that big flood of memories and just kind of uh, like enjoy the film for what it is.